the God's own people, chosen race, unique man. How blessed we are. How holy we are. Yes, Lord. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for accepting me as I am. Yes, Lord. You accept the twelve disciples as they were. They were simple, ordinary, sinful persons. You chose them. You anointed them. You called them. And you wanted them to be your friends and followers. So also, Jesus, you have called each one of us here by name. Each one of us you have accepted. Each one of us given the chance to be with you. Yes, Lord. With all this, we are sinful persons. We are worldly persons. Jesus, you had a great concern to your apostle, your followers. St. John chapter 17, you prayed to your father. Father, I pray the one you have given to me. I'm not asking you to take them from the world. I am coming to you. I am not asking them to take now. But I am asking them to protect. Let them be united as we are united, Father, Son, and Spirit. The Trinitarian unity Jesus prayed for his apostles. And he is praying for each one of us that we may be united in him. Yes, John chapter 17, beautiful words, beautiful prayer. Jesus prayed to the Father for each one of us. His chosen one, his followers. Yet Lord, the devil is roaring like a lion, roaring around to destroy us, to pull us away. The devil is a liar, he is a historian. He is trying to bring back the history. He is trying to bring back the evil things happen in our life. But Jesus never a historian. He never keep anything behind it. He forgives totally and condition. And He has forgiven each one of us and called us. So let us accept and experience the holiness of Him. Yet there are so many negative aspects in our life. We need to be cleansed and purified from hidden memories. So many memories funding. So many past events. So many unwanted memories. Yes, Lord, we need healing from hidden memories. That's what we want healing from the loneliness very often we feel. There are so many people yet I feel so lonely. Yes, Lord, I need healing from the loneliness I'm facing today. This is I want healing from always doubting attitude. I can't trust. I doubt my parents. I doubt my husband. I doubt my wife. I doubt my children. I doubt my brother. I doubt my sister. I doubt my neighbors. I doubt my superiors. Everyone I doubt. So I don't trust anyone. So I need you healing from that area. The shocks, the shocking news I have received, which is hurting me. The revengeful attitude, Lord. Very often I am filled with that. I want to take revenge all those who hated me, all those who have done bad things for me, all those who are against me. 
all those who don't love me, I want to take revenge on them. Lord, I want to give from these areas. Also, Lord, I need to be to receive healing from the never satisfying attitude. No matter how much I receive from you, Lord, I can't thank you, I can't accept. Often I look at others, never satisfied, they are always comparing with others. Never satisfying attitude of my Lord. I need healing from it. This is I need healing from the fear I am going through. I am afraid. I can't trust. I have no confidence. I can't come forward. Let others do attitude of mind. I can't do it. I am useless. I am gone this. It's not me. Let the other do it. That attitude of mind. The fear. The anxiety. The sadness. The guilt conscience, yes Lord, I need healing from all these areas. Immoral problems which I am facing with you. Uncontrollable things. The urge in me. The sexuality, uncontrolled sexual feelings, yes Lord. The purity and holiness I can't think of. Jesus, I need healing. Jeremiah chapter 30, 17 says, I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. Yes, Lord. The words of the prophet Jeremiah may be fulfilled, Lord, today. In this very moment, that all these wounds may be Healed by you, Lord, and your touch. Psalmist 147 please says, He heals their broken hearts and binds up their wounds. Yes, Lord. The broken heart of mine, I need your healing, Lord. Yes, Lord. There are so many things I can think of. I need healing from you. Jesus, help me to understand your love. Help me if you experience your love.
of knowing our world, outside world. That I can feel the pressure my mom is going through. The fear, the anxiety, the worry my mother is going through. Slowly I can feel it. I have a little doubt in my mother's room. Yet Lord, you have given me soul and life. I am a living human being with a little doubt. All the feelings and expressions of my mother is transmitted to me. Can't understand many things yet. I know a lot of things going on. I feel the rejection at times because my mother is speaking about I need a boy and I know I am a girl. At times my mother is going through saying I need a girl but I know I am a boy. All the day I feel I am unwanted, I am rejected. I am not receiving the love as I am. Though my life is a gift from the Lord, my parents fail to accept as a gift. But they have their own conditions. They are identifying me, not accepting me. So the rejection is so deep into my mind. Yes, I know one day when I am born, I grown up, this is going to play a vital role. I am going to react to this with the hatred, with anger, with the destroying attitude, the destructive mind or the deep withdrawal system. I don't want, I can't do that attitude is going to grow. Yes Lord, it's a great harm my parents are thinking about. Yes Lord, if you are present, if my parents accepted you as the Savior and Master, they would have accepted as a gift, as a blessing, as a grace. But Lord, Without your presence, they themselves are planning. They are making a program for me as a daughter, but I happen to be a son. As a son, but I happen to be a daughter. It's a great harm, Lord. The very instance of my birth, not accepting as a gift, which is going to be play a vital role in my life and perhaps many, quite many of us are feeling this rejection, feeling this betrayal, feeling this anger, feeling this jealousy, hatred, emptiness, loneliness, fear. Yes Lord, everything has come from this little small mistake of my parents. Jesus. Perhaps they are no more on this earth today. But I want to ask, sorry Lord, I want to ask the pardon Lord for their sake. Forgive them Lord. Jesus from my heart, bottom of my heart, I ask forgiveness for my parents. For their decision, not your decision. For accepting them, their decision not accepting your decision. I ask sorry Jesus. Please forgive them Lord. Because of the small mistakes of theirs, if they have not endured the eternal reward you have prepared for them. The room you have prepared for them, if they are not entered. Jesus, right now, with this prayer of ours, let them reach that destination. Yes Lord. If you are present, you may to Martha you forgive, you believe. Mary and Martha told you, Lord, if you are being 
present would not have you. Today I am praying, Lord, if you are really present in my parents' life at that moment, these things would not happen. And Jesus, you told Mary and Martha, you believe it will happen. Yes, Lord, I believe, I trust, I have confidence in you. Change my life, Lord, this very moment. Heal me, Lord. Heal me, Lord. Jesus, I command in your mighty name and holy name all that is unwanted, unwanted elements from my life. That emptiness, that fear, the anger, the jealousy, the hatred. Jesus, I command in your holy name, mighty name, disappear from my sister. I bind with your precious blood, Lord, and surrender this evil characteristics at your feet. You take total control of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you for listening my prayer. Yes, Lord. Thank you. My praise in Jesus. I don't know the 
the fifty things are born to an imprinted on my heart, my mind, my soul. So as I grow up today, I cannot accept anyone. Anyone trying to help me, I am finding it difficult to accept. I feel they are going to destroy me. I can't trust them. I can't trust anyone. I don't have that confidence. I don't accept anyone. Yes. The great harm, Lord, has come to me as a little tiny person on earth. Jesus, now, today, this very moment, I want to pray to you. I want to intervene, Lord, in my life. Jesus, I pray to you. Forgive me for such a evil thought in my heart, mind and soul. This very moment, Jesus, I command in your name. Away from this sort of attitude of mind. The anger, the hatred, the untrust, the attitude of mind. The fear, the anxiety, Lord, everything in your mighty name, holy name, I command, let it be away from my life. Yes, Lord, fill me with your presence. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your love. Yes, Lord, let my be may be changed and transformed this very morning. This is I need that inner healing today. I want to be a released free person. I want to be Lord your ambassador. Jesus, I want to be your witness. I want to be your child. As our lady told the servant, he said to him, Yes, Lord, I want to listen to you. Yes, Lord, I want to listen to you. Speak to me, Jesus. Speak to me, Jesus. Release all that negative attitude from me, Lord, in this very moment. Thank you, Jesus, for listening to you. Jesus, you pray to the Father, the two apostles. You did not ask to the Father, but you thank the Father. Father, you always listen to me. Thank you for granting me this. You knew what is going to happen. You knew your father will be. You have trust and confidence in the father. And you, before getting you thanked, yes, Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for all the blessings which I have received. I have failed to thank you, Lord, till today. But now, this very moment, I want to thank you, Jesus, for my life. I want to thank you, Jesus, the person who I am, what I am today. Lord, fill me with your presence. Let all of us, especially let me, Jesus, experience you the Pentecostal experience today. Jesus, I want to thank and praise you, the beautiful community here. I want to thank and praise the priest here, the priest here, and all those who are associated with this parish, all the Catholics, the ministers, and all the family and family members, Jesus. Everyone may experience you, Lord, as well. Master and guide and Savior. All those who attend this Elders Seminar, Lord, experience your divine blessing. All those who are come here to be healed, Jesus, a spiritual healing, physical healing, and any sort of diabolic healing they want, Lord, I want to offer them at your feet. All the sick and suffering, just place your right hand wherever the pain or aches or suffering you have. Place your hand. And Jesus said, trust in me, you will receive. Peter told the beggar in front of the synagogue there, I have neither silver nor gold, what I have I will give you. So if you trust and believe, our Master, Savior, resurrected Lord is here in our midst. He is going to do the miracle. Nothing is impossible for you. I guarantee that. If you trust and believe, you will be healed. That is the promise Jesus has made and I trust in him. I believe in him. So close your eyes. Open your inner eyes. Open your heart. Ask Jesus to do the miracle. It's not that I am going to do anything. 
is not that any one of us but he is going to be jesus is going to be he is going to be from all the wounds you have the physical sickness you have the spiritual diabolic blocks and bondages you have the inner emotional problems you have everything jesus is going to give you let all of us thank and praise because jesus praised and thanked the father before lazarus resurrection so let us thank and praise him and when we thank and praise jesus is going to do the miracle he knows even before we ask what we need because we are his children he knows he knows he has called us by name So all of us with one voice, let us thank and praise, three praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, in your mighty name, holy name, my command, all the aches and pains and straws and horrendous suffering. Jesus, in your name, in your name, my command. Let me out. Lord, let them experience your power to every man's mind and heart of those Lord. Every fiber of your children may be anointed by you, Lord. May be touched by you, Lord. Jesus, power to their body, mind and soul. Jesus, heal them. Heal them, Lord. At this very moment, let them experience your mighty healing. Jesus, anoint them. Let every man have a mind of God's experience.
let us pray. O God, be in a wonderful sacrament us. Let turn to us the memorial of your passion. And we beseech you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood. As the experience continually within ourselves, the fruit of your redemption, with your son reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed be God in His angels and saints. 